bringing Christ to the nations and the nations to the church. Daily devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Friday, October 13th, 2023. Help the world rejoice. I'm Pastor Michael Ziegler, speaker on the Lutheran Hour, and this devotion pairs with this weekend's Lutheran Hour sermon, which can be found at lhm.org. The text is Psalm 80. Restore us, O God of hosts, let your face shine, that we may be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took deep root and filled the land. Why then have you broken down its walls, so that all who pass along the way pluck its fruit? Mother Superior is afraid of Dolores Van Cartier, and for good reason. Dolores is a mess. She needs a sanctuary. Dolores is a singer. Her latest audition was after hours at a seedy joint in South Philly. She didn't get the job, and to make matters worse, that night when she left, she took the wrong door and witnessed a murder. Right in front of her, the club owner shoots one of his henchmen for squealing on him to the cops. Now Dolores is a witness, on the run, and needs a sanctuary. The police hide Dolores, the loudmouth lounge singer, in a convent. Much to Mother Superior's chagrin, because when Dolores joins the choir, she brings the whole scummy world inside that sanctuary into God's vineyard, and the riffraff are trampling down the vine, eating all the fruit, just as Mother Superior feared. That's the beginning of the storyline from Sister Act, the musical. The story addresses a fear of religious people everywhere. Roughly 3,000 years before Sister Act's playwrights imagined the outlook of a fearfully religious nun from South Philadelphia, a Hebrew poet, from southern Israel, expressed the same fears in a poem known today as Psalm 80. It seems to have been written during a time when ancient Israel was divided. The leaders in the northern kingdom were corrupt. They had mixed with the world, and it all came crashing down on their heads. In the year 722 BC, the Assyrians invaded, broke down their walls, trampled their sanctuary, and scattered the people. The author of Psalm 80 probably lived in the southern part of Israel when it happened. He hears about it and vocalizes his prayer to God in a poem. The poet compares God's people to a vine, and their land is like a vineyard. And like Mother Superior, he does not understand why God would let the world invade his vineyard. When Jesus said, I am the true vine, and you are the branches, He probably had Psalm 80 in mind. Recognizing Jesus as the vine lets us see the relationship between the world's mess and God's sanctuary in a new light because Jesus embraced the riffraff, you and me included. He let himself be trampled, cut down, crucified, And with God's power and compassion, he rose from the dead. He broke down the wall. He welcomes us in so that we can welcome others. Loudmouths, lowlifes, everyone. When Dolores Van Cartier led the choir in the convent, she taught them how to sing. And in the light of Jesus, maybe we can hear her words as prophetic. She tells her sisters and us, When you got a song worth hearing, there's one thing to do. Just keep your fear from interfering and let that sucker burst through. Raise your voice. Blast it. Blare it. Stand up and share it. Help the world rejoice. Please pray with me. Dear Father, keep our fears from interfering so that we can help the world rejoice in Jesus. 